This training video will show you what to do on your first sail. You'll learn how to start and stop the boat, control your speed and turn around. For your first sail, you should choose a light wind day and the objective is to sail backwards and forwards across the wind with the wind blowing over the side of the boat like this. This is called a beam reach and this is the best point of sailing for your first sail. When you have more experience, you can then master the other points of sailing. This video assumes that you're familiar with rigging your boat and you know how to launch safely and that you understand the points of sailing. Identify where the wind is blowing from by looking at flags ashore or masthead burgees or look at ripples on the water. A flapping sail will also indicate where the wind is blowing from. You need to be careful of the no-go zone, which is an area 45 degrees either side of where the wind is blowing from. The sails do not work in this zone and you will not be able to sail. By identifying where the wind is blowing from, you should be able to work out where the no-go zone is likely to be and try to ensure that you do not steer unintentionally into this zone. You should be sitting in the boat well forward like this and with the tiller extension in the dagger grip in front of your body. This leaves your other hand to control the main sheet. Avoid sitting too far back. It may feel comfortable but you'll find it difficult to turn around and the boat will not sail as effectively in the water. You should be able to gently push and pull the tiller extension to turn the boat. Keep these movements small and always return the tiller to the straight position as your default. Remember that the boat will turn with even the smallest amount of angle on the tiller. Pushing the tiller towards the boom will turn the nose or bow of the boat towards the wind. This is called luffing up. And pulling the tiller away from the boom will make the bow of the boat turn away from the wind. This is called bearing away. The easiest point to get a feel for steering, starting and stopping is to position your boat so the wind is blowing across the boat at 90 degrees. This point of sailing is called a beam reach. Here you can see a boat on a beam reach point of sailing and the mainsail flapping. To help you understand how the wind powers the boat, you should think of your sail as an engine. Pulling in on the main control ropes will pull in the sails which fills them with wind which in turn generates drive to the boat through the water. Letting the ropes go makes the sails flap which reduces power and subsequently slows you down. The control line for the mainsail is called the main sheet. Starting with the main sheet loose and the mainsail flapping with the tiller completely straight, you should gently pull the main sheet until the sail doesn't flap anymore. When you pull a sail in from a slack position, the last bit to fill with wind is the front part of the sail, so this is the area to look at to make sure that it doesn't flap. You'll notice that the boat will immediately drive forwards. Sailing dinghies don't have brakes, so to slow down you must release the power in the mainsail by slackening the main sheet until the sail just starts to flap. When sailing, it's a good idea to take note of a fixed object on the shore and try to adjust the rudder to maintain a steady steering direction towards that point. It's very easy to get disorientated when sailing, so having a constant reference point is a big help to ensure you continue sailing in the right direction. Sooner or later, you're going to run out of water or need to turn for some other reason. There are two ways to turn a boat around. For your first sail, you should turn the nose of the boat through the wind. This is called tacking. The other way of turning, which you should avoid to start with, is called jiving. This is where the nose of the boat turns away from the wind. When tacking, the boat will slow significantly and it's for this reason you should use this manoeuvre on your first sail. Don't worry too much about your technique just now, the full tacking procedure is the subject of another video. To tack round, you should be sailing along your beam reach. In preparation, look around and make sure that the immediate area is clear from other vessels or hazards. The object of the exercise is to sail back along the track from where you've just come. Check once again that your turning area is safe, you can then start the manoeuvre. Gently push the tiller towards the boom. 
the boat will immediately start to turn. Duck under the boom and move across onto the other side of the boat. Once the boom has passed overhead, keep turning until you've gone through 180 degrees. You should now be on a beam reach once more. Sit down. Straighten the tiller and swap your hands over and resume the dagger grip once more like this. The sail is then adjusted once more to find the point where it just stops flapping. Now let's take another look. Sailing along the beam reach point of sailing, take a quick look to decide where you plan to end up heading and check the area is clear. Gently push the tiller towards the boom and turn the nose of the boat through the wind, stepping across the boat, ducking under the boom, keeping the rudder in the same turning position. Once you've turned 180 degrees, straighten the tiller, swap the hands on the tiller and resume to the dagger grip. You can then find the point where the sail just stops flapping. On a single hander, if you want to stop and have a rest, you should adopt the lying to position. Here, the sail flaps with the boom well clear over the side and the boat will almost stop. To get to this situation, first position the boat somewhere between a beam reach and a close reach point of sailing. Then release the main sheet so that the sail flaps and half raise the centerboard. The boat should almost stop. Maintain a good lookout and adjust the tiller to maintain a steady position relative to the wind. To slow you even further, you can also release the kicking strap. To get out of the lying to position, simply lower the centerboard, pull in the main sheet and off you go. Whilst tacking across the wind, you may straighten the rudder too soon. Here, you'll be stuck in the no-go zone, with the nose of the boat pointing head to wind. This is called being stuck in irons. If this happens, don't worry. You need to force the bow of the boat to one side of the no-go zone or the other. To achieve this, push the mainsail out by hand as far as you can with the boom. This will force the wind to hit the back of the sail, which will introduce drive and start to push you backwards. To turn the bow away from the wind, you then need to push the tiller towards the boom. Once the boat has travelled about 90 degrees, you can then release the boom, straighten the tiller and then quickly pull in the main sheet and sail away. In short, it's a push on the boom and a push on the tiller and then a pull on the main sheet and a pull on the tiller. If you sail in windier conditions, everything is the same but events happen considerably faster. You'll notice that the boat will turn faster, the sail flaps louder and the boom travels across the boat faster. You should consider reefing the main sail on windy days. This reduces the amount of sail area and takes some of the power away. Watch our rigging and reefing video to see how reefing is done. Common mistakes. Not understanding where the wind is blowing from, so not setting the sails correctly for the point of sailing you're on. For your first sail, you should turn around by tacking through the wind, as this is easier to master than jibing. Getting stuck in irons. Not keeping a good lookout can put you in a hazardous area with lots of boats or other water users. Not keeping the rudder straight during the tacking manoeuvre, the boat will keep turning. Key learning points. First time out, avoid winds greater than about 12 miles an hour so that you can get the manoeuvre at a manageable speed. Pulling in the main sheet so that the mainsail fills with wind will drive your boat forward. Releasing the main sheet so that the mainsail flaps in the wind will lose drive and slow you down. In your early days of sailing, the easiest condition to practice in is when the wind is blowing across the boat at 90 degrees, called a beam reach. The safest way to turn your boat round is to tack, which is when the bow or nose of the boat goes through the eye of the wind and out onto the other side. It's likely that you'll become disorientated as you tack back and forth, so identify a point to aim at before you turn that will become a reference point for you. 
If you want to stop and rest, you should adopt the lying to position. If you get stuck in the no-go zone, push the boom away from you and push the tiller towards the boom. Then when the mainsail fills with wind, pull the tiller towards you again, pull the sail in and sail away. Next steps. Watch this video as many times as is necessary to have a good understanding of how to start and stop your boat and make simple turns. Use the script and glossary accompanying the video to help you. You should continue to practice this until you're familiar and comfortable with the effect of the rudder and steering controls.